Um, I think this is part two because I've recorded maybe like 20 minutes or an hour of content and it messed up. So we're just going to pick up from here at this point. Fought Thor. We did a whole bunch of stuff. Um, Atreus and Atreus showed us a secret thing and then things. Um, so now we're just continue, continuing with our mission. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Hey, come see. You finding everything all right, I hope? How do we unlock the realms? We'll just need something from back at the workshop. Follow me! And be sure to bring the head. So, where exactly is Tyr being held? He's imprisoned in a mine somewhere. That's all we know so far. Hmm. The realm is full of mines, you realize. You'll need help narrowing it down. Oh, you should talk to Durlin. Who's Durlin? He's a cousin of ours. Sort of. Works for the city on safety issues. Should have access to all kinds of information on mines. And I know, he's no friend of Odin. That's why your mother sought his help when she was trying to whip up a rebellion. Ready? A rebellion? Did you know about that? I did not. A rebel leader who knew Mom. Sounds like exactly what we need. I think you missed the ta-da. Well, never mind. I'll have this oiled up in no time. Meet you at the gateway outside. Rebel leader? Derlin? <laughs> If that ain't giving a hound a haircut. Huh? Atreus. All right. See you out there, Sindri. You hear that? <clears throat> we'll just need the Bifrost in the head. Brock? Do the touching. Oh, this would be the part requiring my assistance, then. You said it. This device here has been crafted to your measurements. It'll help you get a better look at the problem with those Bifrost eyes of yours. So, uh, do I control this thing somehow, then? Oh, no, 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 no. This is just to hold you in place while we shine this light in your eyes. Oh, oh, Cindy, you stodging bastard! Ah! Ha, 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 Open. Open now. I was really hoping not to use the eyelid clamps. Do it. <laughs> oh! That's it. That's it. Good. Now, release. Still on poison. Oh, that's our cue. Come on, hurry. I'm coming. I'm coming. Russell of eggs, man. What was that for? You'll see soon enough. Just <gasps> there. That should do it. See? No permanent damage. I'll show you permanent damage, you wee fuck! Kratos! Throw me at him! Horns first! <laughs> Can't you take a joke, you old goat? <laughs> the Bifrost is broken. Now that we've reconfigured these gateways to use Yggdrasil seeds, you won't need a travel table or a Bifrost lamp anymore. I also used it for light. Okay, good note. I'll figure something out, but first... Come on, let me show you how it works. Okay, aim your key at the rune for Svartalfheim on the right, then concentrate. This should take you to the wetlands outside Nidavellir City. Just make your way to the town square and ask for Durlin at the tavern. You sure they'll know him at the tavern? Durlin's always been an inveterate inebriate. I suppose he might have completely changed, but in my experience, 
Eh. Did you want to come with us? Oh, I might drop in, but the wetlands are moist. And the grim are everywhere. Hostile, slimy, foul-smelling creatures. But good luck! Thanks. Wait, what? I said good luck! Whoa! Do you feel that? What's that like? Anything. Everything. It's warm. We can probably use this boat. If I can just get it free. already off to a lively stop. Petraeus, you dropped your guard. I got the boat free, though. I still can't believe Mom led a whole rebellion here against Odin and never talked about it. The fact that it didn't go well might have come that notion. What your mother did before we met was her business. Did you ever ask? Eyes on the water. There are resources. If you never asked Mom about what she used to do, what did you talk about when you met? Like, did you just say, Woman, guard the house. I will go to catch fish in the river. And then leave for five days? No. Your mother was far better at fishing than I. Did you see that over there? What did, what did I miss? That wheel is blocking the channel. I imagine if you can turn it, we should be able to get through. So these are wetlands, huh? Pretty accurate. It is a bog. The smell is making my eyes burn. You know what is a fair bit more potent than when I last visited, now that you mention it. He was a friend to the Giants. I wonder if he and Mom ever met. If he was a part of the Rebellion here. It's certainly possible. The God of War often advocated for the Giants. Although I don't recall if he ever declared allegiance outright. Come on. There's gotta be a faster way to get down there. Oh, my God. 
It doesn't hit me. Why is it not letting me carry? It's not letting me respond or, or, or retaliate. I don't understand. Okay, there's got to be some way to turn the wheel up here. Oh, there! Give a man some warning if he's about to suddenly end up snout deep in cheek. The ground. Was that an earthquake? Hmm. An occasional but not unheard of happenstance in Spartalfine. With all the mining here, the land's bound to be a wee bit bothered. I was thinking, because it's so warm, maybe it's not that the cold hasn't made it here yet, but maybe it's just different in Svartalfarm? Aye, lad. Fimble Winter doesn't strike all realms quite the same way. Weird that Fimble Winter doesn't always make it winter. In Midgard it does, but as you can see, the effects here appear far more gaseous in nature. Observe the geysers. Observe the aforementioned aroma. These effects were present before in some form, but now there's new extremity to them.
They cap those geysers? <laughs> hmm. I think we need to get that wheel moving, but the water doesn't reach. But they connect it, but they don't. So what's over here? Geysers. Is there another one somewhere? First. Oh, I could 
could have jumped back here. Damn, I didn't Jump down here. If the dwarves of this realm are anything like Rock and Sindri, it's hard to imagine them siding with Odin. Well, all too often people are blinded to all but their immediate self-interest. Odin offered them safety, and defying him can be quite dangerous. Maybe they just need a couple of gods to come along and take the fight to him. Atreus, that is not why we are here. I was only joking. War is not a joke, especially where gods are concerned. Jesus, oh damn. She's far as fuck with the hell. It seems, Atreus, you intend to recruit Tyr as an ally for war. I just I'm trying to keep our options open. Let's just keep moving. I'm glad we're out here. Exploring a new realm. Maybe we could just try to enjoy the warmth. Looks like we gotta find a way to open that gate if we want to get to neither of them. It's too fast. Then how shall we catch it? Flank it. Attack from behind. Good. to get behind it. But how? There. There's got to be another chain to lower the rest of the gate. Yes, it's up there. Look, there's a chain we can pull up there. It's clinging to the wall. We gotta knock it down. Oh, I think I get it. If you freeze the geyser, the pressure will turn the wheel. Okay, but then... 
ada bahaya ye. Nice one. Okay. The block's coming down. Boom. Let's go to that block. Yeah. Can you see anything from that block? Exactly, are you hoping to learn from Tia? Well, like I said, I was hoping he could tell me something about Loki. I'd also like to hear some of his stories. Like traveling to other lands, trying stuff, and maybe about what it was like to fight back in the day. Just for the history, obviously. History? <laughs> Let's hope Tia's in a talkative mood after being imprisoned for so long. Not all of Odin's captives can be as charmingly voluble as myself. We have no proof Tyr is truly here. Right. Yeah, we're just here on a on a guess, on a hunch. We don't even know for a fact. We we don't know the way back. I feel like he's here. I feel like he's here. That earthquake earlier. Do you think there will be another one? It's unlikely, but geological disturbances tend to be unpredictable. If the geysers and smell here are worse because of Fumble Winter, maybe the earthquakes are too? Aye. You might be onto something, lad. Hmm. Atreus. Look ahead. A village. Wow. Now this looks like a city. Welcome to neither of you, brothers. Hey, dwarves! Oh. They're, uh, running away. An alarm. I'd only sound an alarm like that if I still had my body. And was fearing the notion of being detached from it. Why well, that for us, though? They are scared. Was definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is everybody hiding? Stay alert. Can we talk we to you for any trouble, please? There'll be no help, to be sure. Best we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own. And hope they let us in. Is that a statue of Odin? They must really love him here. Or fear. Sindri! Hello! I'd return your surprise, but I did know you'd be here. What I've is got something worth? for you. You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. Oh, if these cobblestones could talk. Then they'd have mouths. Filthy, disgusting mouths. Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? Oh, you are long overdue for a replacement. Taking advantage of certain material. Ow. Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something uh, I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for uh, finally trying it. What's it gonna be this time? Patience. I find it's best to see these things oh, in action. Uh.
There. Oh, take aim at that gate there. But before you loose, say, Ski off. Ski off. Ski off. Well, I certainly didn't expect you to disturb half the creepy crawlies in neither of the How was I supposed to know they were there? Okay, so, Derlin. At your service. Sindri, any idea where the tavern is? Do I look like I've ever been to a filthy tavern? The sewer you just punched a hole through seems promising, though. For you. It should lead to the other side of the city. It's not like you're able to open other doors around here. So this lockdown really is because of us? Oh my, yes. Odin's grip on this realm is so firm, any outsider is considered a threat. Sounds like an Odinism if I ever had one. So where am I supposed to be going? Oh, I, I, I'm guessing I'm supposed to climb. Duh. Best of luck. Any outsider is considered a threat. Is that to protect the dwarves? It sounds like it. But knowing Odin, there's sure to be an ulterior motive. Well, everyone's hiding on this side too. Odin's occupation of this realm has its hooks in deep. But there aren't any guards patrolling. We're clearly not a threat. Why hide? Resist and you made an example of. To keep the rest in line. Self-preservation can outweigh bravery for even the strongest of folk. Fear keeps them safe and alive. The cabin's gotta be around here somewhere. Maybe we can try knocking on some doors for directions. Let's go. Mm, let's just keep moving. Looks to be an artifact from the Dwarven Resistance. A firebomb from the chief anti-Odin propagandist in Durland's Rebellion. Quite a sharp wit she had until she turned to less subtle means of resistance. Brock may be interested in getting these back. Better in his hands than out in the open. <laughs> God damn, he dead nigga. Dang it. Uh, I didn't actually get to check all the pathways over here. I don't know if there's like a chance or something. I don't really see it like this. Don't. This looks promising, right? Well, it's like a house. If he's here, maybe you should let me do the talking. You? Well, we don't want to intimidate him. You're tall as a tree and you have a severed head on your head. <clears throat> None taken. 
Fair point, though. And that's it. Hello? Watch yourselves. Apparently, there are intruders about. Oh, that's us, I think. Eh, well, if you're planning on killing me, at least let me finish this song. That alarm was in just the perfect key. We're just looking for a friend of ours named Derlin. <laughs> well, we both know that's not true. Derlin's got no friends left. But if that's all you need, head out the back way there. And you'll see the safety office just across the river. Just don't go making trouble for the rest of us. And while you travel through this realm, maybe you could clean up the head's mess? What mess? Later, brother. I wish to hear of this mess. The rig's in the bay. Why don't you ask the condescending skull? Head! I've got skin. But he's right. I made a mistake. I'd have us shut them down. Sorry, one more thing. Although, these are gifts I'm giving to you, so I shouldn't be sorry and you should be thankful. Anyways, here. Please be careful. It's beautiful. Thanks, Sindri. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's also very useful. You'll be able to find anything your heart desires with it. Really? As long as your heart desires the locations your father and you decide and plot to travel together, then yes. It is a compass. Ah, but a beautiful compass. Now scamper off. What else will he be giving you, bro? I mean, he does owe us a light. But, I mean... Okay, so now we have a compass. Now we can see the distance and how far we are. <sighs> Which is good. Come. A boat cannot be far. Huh. Earlier, Sindri made it sound like Derlin was some sort of rebellion leader. Doesn't sound like anyone's following him. Was being the key word here, little brother. There's a building just past these rocks behind. Ew, bro, how Maybe we should head that way. Ah, uh, those bloody mining rigs. What about them? The Skald is right to blame me for them. They were my idea. If you've got the time, they're in the bay just beyond this tunnel. I'd particularly appreciate us checking out the mining rigs in the lake to the right. You can see the smokestacks from here. But if you don't want to explore now, it looks like Derlin's place is... Through that open gate to the left. Okay. Let's go check out those mining rigs. Matter of fact, how about so you guys which decide? Way do we go? In the comments, let me know what I should do. Should, you, should we go check out the mining rigs or should we go talk to Darlin? Go ahead and leave a comment. Um, and, and, and tell me what you think I should do. Make sure you go ahead and if you like the video, make sure you go ahead and drop that like button, destroy that like button. Make sure you go ahead and destroy um, and demolish that subscribe button. Um, and make sure you go ahead and click that notification bell so you can go ahead and be a part of the big bat gang. Yes, sir. And make sure you go ahead and you click that share button, share it to your mommy, your daddy, your brothers, your sisters, your cousins, your grandpa, and your grandma. Because, you know, 
you know. But hey, amen. I appreciate y'all for joining me. Um, and I hope I hope y'all I, I see y'all in the next video, man. Peace.